It's damaged, but I fixed worse. Come on. Maybe there's someone in town who can help us. Yeah, better pick ourselves up and dust ourselves off, because, yeah, this Wait place is under attack. We Before we go, though, first. yeah, we can help someone to find repair our ship, Jeez, but also we can get our hands Jeez. on more of the fancy purple crystals. They're called Raritania. Um, you can find them out here in clusters like these. You can also find some by killing enemies. Um, they're random drop, and they also have a low rate of dropping, but if you get them, they're very worth it. So, while we fill our ammo, um, turns out we don't need to. We're... What the... Oh, uh, I guess they're trying to show us the uh, um, tutorial for upgrading weapons. So, yeah, select the tutorializer to upgrade it. Yeah, so you use Raritanium to purchase upgrades for weapons. All you gotta do is pick one of them cells. And use L to highlight the upgrade beneath the starting point. So, like this. So, press X to begin an upgrade chain. Now these things chain together. Go ahead and fill out the whole chain. Yeah, you can select multiple upgrades for a purchase by highlighting them. You don't even need to press X, you can just uh, go around just the circle. The transaction and, the deal's done. and there you go. The chain is complete. Mystery upgrade unlocked. Damage. Makes your weapon hurt more. More pain, more gain. Hey, you surrounded a mystery cluster. Now that's gonna give you a big boost. And unlock mystery upgrades by purchasing all adjacent upgrades. That's all there is to it. Give it a spin on one of your own. So now let's do it on one of our own. So we have our combustor and we have our fusion grenade. But we have we always have to start at the original point in the middle where the green hexagon is. And then it's up to us to decide where we want to take it and how much we want to obtain. So, let's start going around the chain here and getting as much as we can. Until we run out of the number of rubber teaming we have. So, let's go ahead and spend six to upgrade some ammo and also get some more bolts. That's how you make a great weapon even better. And so as we get more rubber teaming, we can come back to the upgrade section and we can also upgrade our fusion grenade also. And we can also get stuff like the Pyrocitor. Fires a stream of burning pyrocytic fluid. Great for keeping touchy-feely enemies out of your personal space. As well as the Proton Drum. Deploy a supermassive pseudo atom that regularly emanates a wide disk of damaging subatomic energy. But these cost bolts, and I don't have enough for either of these yet, but we will eventually. So, for now, we will move on. Because yeah, we are under attack here. So step on the platform and begin our descent. That is a lot of bad guys. Attention citizens. Yeah, we need to defend the planet. We are in the midst of a small insignificant invasion. Doesn't look insignificant to me. Let's go. Yeah, let's take down all these robotic insects. Yeah, take this, you file fiends. And you too. Yeah, get our hands on whatever we can find. Also, while we're in the middle of being attacked relentlessly. Ouch. Threw a grenade at me. Alright, let's go. Yeah, all we gotta do is remember to look out for our... Um... Our crates with the yellow circles on them. And that will give us the refuel on ammo. Yeah, I don't think I didn't see you. Yeah, I knocked you right off. Hey, that's a core of Aerolux statue. She's the youngest recruit ever to be selected for the Galactic Rangers. Alright, I'm out of ammo, so we gotta switch. Yeah, blow you guys out of the water. And thankfully, I was close enough to be able to score there. Oh, but I need to get more. Yeah, throw one in your face, and you went kaboom. Try and stay clear of the danger as much as I can. Alright, where else? And of course I have my default weapon as well, my trusty wrench, which requires no ammo. 
And sometimes even the flora and fauna can help you out too. But I need more ammo, so I'm gonna have to punch my way through here. Just swing for the fences. There's another weapon crate right there. Another ammo crate. Clear myself a path before we go and get our hands on this stuff. Alright, all clear over here. Oh! But we gotta be careful, cause yeah, there's a bit of firepower that'll blow the bridge out. Thankfully, I don't plummet to my death, but there are bottomless pits in this game that I do need to be wary of. Ooh, that hurt. Gotta swing for the fences again. And soon. Yeah, these grenadiers are gonna be giving me no end of trouble here. Yeah, still need more grenades. As we arrive on the scene. More of them. That must be the mayor's ship. This is a transmission for the Galactic Rangers. Please! Well, we know what we gotta do. And hopefully that successfully land a shot. Yeah, okay, I gotta have to swing here. I'm a bit low on ammo, and that's gonna come back to haunt me. Oh boy, better find some nanotech. Yeah, and soon. Of course, my double jump can also help me escape from enemy fire. That's also going to be very useful. Yeah, there we go. Get myself some more shots. Let's see if I can... Go over here. Set that off. Oh! Oops! Well, there's my first getting killed. Yeah, that happens for the first time. Alright, so I now have enough experience points on my weapon to get it a level up. It can go as high as level 5, and that's it. So damage enemies to increase your weapon level. Each new level opens no new raritanium upgrades. Which will be very useful. Plus, every time you do get a weapon leveled up, it, you get an instant full refuel on your ammo. I'm also needing health right now. Yeah, we're kind of lacking in that department currently. But I did accomplish enough to increase my health more. Yeah, be gone! Alright, don't need that right now. Now I made it back to this point. Oh, yeah, they can hit from that far. Yeah, go around the back, see if I can get a jump attack on one of these freaks. But it turns out they got the jump on me. Now die, damn you! Got another card on our possession. But I'm still under attack. Yeah, sometimes it's just better to save yourself with a wrench. Whoa! Got myself a few more shots. I don't know yet. Well, apparently it is. Thank you. Thank you. I thought we were done for sure. We are happy to be of assistance. Why is Dread trying to kill you? Yeah. It's my nephew, Skid McMarks. Wait, Skid McMarks, the pro hoverboarder? He sent me this info bot from Iridia, and the Blarg have been after me ever since. Here, take a look. Yeah, shall we have a look at this monitor? Hey, Uncle Blah, Blah. 
gosh, Skid McMarks here. You know, your nephew. My agent and I are at the awesome grand opening of the McMarks Sports Shack here on Iridia. And boy, is this been a trip. I've gotten to meet all kinds of people. Fans, celebrities, my Gadgetron sponsors. <laughs> I even got to sign autographs for these odd-looking creatures called the Flarg. <laughs> I guess they're doing something here on Iridia. Apparently they must be. Hold on a second. Hydro Harvester Super Illegal Water Displacement Apparatus. Um, I don't think I was supposed to have this. I guess you stumbled into it. Apparently so. Ouch. Sounds like Oh, that's unfortunate. Trouble. We got to get to Aridia. Well, before we do, but we must first repair our ship. Yeah. Right. Not only that, we can try and get ourselves a refuel on our ammo. Attention citizens. Your mayor is safe and sound. I was rescued by a furry hero and his robot friend. I will now resume regular office hours, which is every third Tuesday from 10 to 10:30. Alright, I think we're all clear here, so off we go. Yeah, we can't quite go inside the mayor's house, as it were. As tiny as it is. But onward! Moving on to the next section here in Novalis. And there's a platform for me to use. So I think we've covered... Um, yeah, it seems like we've covered quite a bit of stuff here in Novalis, but we're... Still got quite a bit left to cover. Up we go. Alright, so now that I've obtained more stuff, let's go ahead and repair, refill my ammo. And we'll also get ourselves some more of the stuff that's available, including the Pyrocitor. Get our hands on this thing. This is definitely, it's definitely going to be a good weapon early on. So, now, let's go ahead and see if we can't add on a little more. So I'm going to just add on in order to get stable plasma here. The combustor's plasma balls travel even further before burning out, allowing you to pick off enemies from a longer range. So yeah, we're getting some good progress on that. Now, let's get a little bit on the fusion grenade. So, let's start going... And getting our stuff built up a little. Yeah, not much right now, but of course we will be able to obtain more as we get more fusion grenade usage. So yeah, now we have the Pyrocitor. So now I have three weapons at my disposal. Just, yeah, just want to make sure I'm going the right way. I believe I'm going this direction first. Because we're going to try and do some platforming. To try and find someone to help repair my ship. All the while an earthquake is going on. Can't wait for the platforms to go up and down, respectively. Yeah, so yeah, let's try and blow up some more of the f little flies. Do away with these freaky mosquitoes. Yeah, there's even stuff going on over there, but that's not where we're going. Yeah, this was fa I found completely by accident, but you can use these to be able to get yourself to jump up a little higher. Don't want to fall down there, though. At least not yet. Alright, all clear. Well, not yet. Where's my opponent? Right there. Hey, you. In your face! Yeah, in your face! Let's make sure we're all clear. And I believe we are. Yeah, I gotta run. Break open some more stuff. 
Don't worry, I will show off the Pyrocitor as we go along here. But I do want to make sure I'm also leveling my weapons up. I'm also trying to keep myself alive. Yeah, I'm a bit low, but hey, we got the damage we needed. Let's fly over here and get ourselves some much needed health. And nothing over this way. So we will make our way back over here. And this is where Ratchet once again shows off his proficiency. So when you hold the square button down, make sure you're using the left joystick to do what you need to do. And so now those platforms are going up and down too. Going up. And the stuff that falls down, if you're close enough to where it fell down, it'll just come back up to you. Which is very useful. Alright, now here's a good opportunity for me to use my... Um... My Pyrocitor if I run into more of the insects. Like right here. Who's gonna save us now? Well, we made it to where we needed to be. Yeah, that's quite the intro hey, shot. I'm glad you're here. I've been... Hey, have we met before? Because I'm getting a touch of the old deja vu. Uh, I don't think so. Huh. Well, guess the old thing tank could use a good plumbing. <laughs> Apparently so. Also, you got a spike sticking out of your body. Ever since Drex forces showed up. Uh, this entire region is overrun with Blargian dropships. We need to get you out of here. Well, I can't go anywhere until I get this here info bot into the hands of Captain Quark. We were on our way to speak with him when our ship was shot down. Perhaps we could take a look. Oh, sure thing. I swiped it from one of those Blarg soldiers. Here you go. Yeah, let's have a look, shall we? Oh, hello there. I'm Alonzo Drek, chairman of Drek Industries. Many of you may be wondering why does your head look like a volcano? Heavily armed warbots marching ominously towards a Class G dreadship. <laughs> the answer is simple, friends. Progress. Or maybe it's an onion. Years ago, we were driven underground by pollution that may or may not, but most definitely was caused by my father's company. Since then, we've shifted focus from robotics to planet building. Now that our project is nearing completion, we must do everything possible to stay on schedule. In this case, it means our friendly army of warbots must vanquish those who would seek to stop us. Good news? They don't know we're coming! So sit back, relax, and take comfort in the knowledge that Drek Industries is working for you! Drek Industries is not working for you. Obvious propaganda. I see you're having a little transportation trouble. Why don't I meet you by your ship? We'll get you squared away and ready to fly. Well, thank you very much. But yeah, before he goes, yeah. Water slide. Did that guy just slide down a sewer pipe? Yeah, he did. <laughs> well, it does look like the fastest way down. Let's give it a well, shot. Well, before we do, let's help ourselves to one more crate. And a few others also. And down we go. Plus we also get free bolts on the way down too. It's a win-win. We get to have fun and we collect a ton of currency. That was awesome. Wanna do it again? Uh, probably not the best time. Okay, let's see what we got here. And so, Ratchet and Clank set out to fix their ship with the help of the plumber. Little did they know they would soon come so close to greatness they'd be able to hear its mighty biceps ripple. But first, they'd have to tackle a brain eating zombie T Rex. Uh oh, boss duel. Hey, wait a minute. I don't recall no brain eating zombie T Rex. Or maybe okay, not. Fine, Killjoy. Well, you look about all fixed up here. Now promise me you'll get that info bot to Captain Quark. I promise. Thanks for your help. No problem. See you in the next reboot. Reboot? <laughs> you mean remaster? But yeah, we've found someone to help repair our ships before we head on off. We've objected. We've completed all the primary objectives. So, we can also try and search the caves for hidden treasure, too, if we so desire. But how to get there, though, that is another story. But I believe we've actually found it. Never mind. 
Yeah, let's see if we can't access these particular caves in question. Yeah, there's also water to dive down into. But as you see, it's kind of dangerous and you only have a limited amount of air. Yeah, to be honest, I did not go this way on my first run. So yeah, let's open this up. Ooh, it looks like we've found something fancy. Search the case of hidden treasure. And maybe more opportunities to build up our stuff. Like right here. What are these things? They appear to be amoeboids. According to my theories, they were created by Drek Industries in order to assist the warbots. Yeah, so up ourselves to all the trinkets that are over here. And get more bolts in our possession. Alright, so now it's time to use X to dive. And so as fast as we can. For popping up. So yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff we can get our hands on, but we need to find a way to drain the water first. Oh, he didn't like it when I touched him the first time, and yeah. This one slime likes to split into multiple slimes. So yeah, perfect spot to place the Pyrocitor in. Until we eventually run out of ammo. Well, we're not quite there yet, but we're getting close. Yeah, they're even underwater. And for those of you wondering, no... Well, actually it does. All enemies clear. Well done. Yeah, in fact, now that I think about it, maybe we should go and step back for a moment. See if I can't use these grenades to open up opportunities for myself. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, in fact, if I had more grenades, I could probably give myself better opportunities. I mean, I can keep going to the end, I can run back around once I've picked up more grenades. I don't have to be limited to just one trip through here. All right, off we go. Let's so bust into here. Get more health. And we've opened up the other side, just like that. So yeah, we've covered the full loop, so let's go over to the Gadgetron vendor. Let's refill our health and ammo, and also pick up the proton drum. Oh, I just might make my quarter this week. So now let's go ahead and start building up on the grenades now. So we'll give ourselves an opportunity to get more ammo. Now you're almost too powerful. <laughs> Yeah, but you'll see we only have four uses of it total. So now I'm going to go back. So I'll throw that down. And go. Make sure we're leaving nothing behind. Yeah, for some reason I think I can damage the blue mushrooms, but I cannot. Dive down here. Yeah, I just don't want to leave anything off the table. 
I don't have to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Besides, that gives me an opportunity to get more of the bolts that are available that are hidden underwater. Alright, we've completed our tour. Oh, hold on, there's still more over this way. Let's see if I can... Perfect. And then do it again. Oops. There we go. Yeah, that's for the proton drum. Alright, looks like we're all clear over here. I don't think I picked up any more raritanium. Oh, I did actually. So we'll give one more boost to the fusion grenade. Isn't raritanium awesome? Yes, it is. Alright, looks like we're free to go. Enter ship! Ratchet and Clank were delighted to discover that their newly repaired ship now... Yeah, apparently I can still search the case of hidden treasures, so apparently there's more to be found. But for now, we'll focus on go having the option to go to two different spots. We can go to Kerwan, or we can go to Iridia. For now, though, we'll focus on going to Kerwan. 